The Irish novelist, James Joyce, wrote only four major books, but perhaps uniquely for a great writer, all are accepted as masterpieces. Here, in the monitor cutting room, is the novelist, Anthony Burgess, who wrote tonight's Joyce programme, working on the film, which was all shot in Dublin. He was a renegade. I myself, at the age of 16, was a renegade. He'd made his world out of the materials from the world he'd rejected. I wanted confirmation that the agonies and elation I knew as a renegade had some sort of artistic significance, meant something. I should imagine that when an Anglican loses his faith, it's a smooth and sweet process, rather like the shedding of a skin. His church is as good as told him not to take his doctrines too seriously. wrenching of palpable bone and muscle. It's like the draining of the very contents of the skull. To me, at an age when I could neither accept nor answer the arguments of the Holy Name Jesuits, it was unavoidable agony. It seemed to me that what I called reason was tugging one way, and emotion, instinct, loyalty, and fear were tugging the other. James Joyce summed it all up for me in a portrait of the artist. Hell is a straight and dark and foul-smelling prison, an abode of demons and lost souls filled with fire and smoke. The straightness of this prison house is expressly designed by God to punish those who refuse to be bound by his laws. In hell, all laws are overturned. There is no thought of family or country, of ties or relationships. The damned howl and scream at one another, their torture and rage intensified by the presence of beings tortured and raging like themselves. All sense of humanity is forgotten. The yells of the suffering sinners fill the remotest corners of the vast abyss.